Hey guys, so if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I've been trying to film this video since I got home from school today, but like, this is way too much TMI, but I am PMSing so bad that like, I literally have been crying all day since I got home over absolutely nothing. I'm not sad about anything in my life right now. In fact, I'm going to leave to go see One Direction in about 30 minutes, but I'm just ex extremely hormonal at this point in time. I don't even have products laid out in front of me yet because like I literally didn't even want to risk about to cry again so I was like I'll just pick it out during the video because once I'm filming I literally won't cry. But yeah that's just where I'm at right now. How's your day going? How are you guys? Let me know. Um, I just want to quickly say before I get into my favorites video because I don't even know what I'm going to be talking about um, that my website launched two days ago which is really 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 exciting and a ton of you guys are loving it which makes me so happy. And another great thing about this website is that if you guys don't have social media or if you're not allowed on social media, I have all of my tweets, Instagrams, Tumblr reblogs, videos, blog posts, everything you can think of that I post online except for Snapchats. I'm trying to get with that. That's kind of hard to do. Um, except for Snapchat, every single thing that I post on social media is on the homepage of my website. So if you guys want to stay updated with me, it updates literally instantly the second I post a tweet, it's on my website. So I think that's really cool. And yeah, I'm also really enjoying writing blog posts and stuff like that. And there's also always like little behind the scenes stuff about my videos on there. So, um, I just want to throw that out there really quickly because I'm really, really happy with how the website turned out. Let me know how you guys like it. I absolutely am in love with it. I think it's beautiful and I'm so happy with the way that I created it. So now I'm going to get on to my favorites and I don't know what I'm going to talk about. So, let me look. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. I recently found Nikki Tutorials. Oh, that brings me to my first favorite, actually, which is Casey Neistat. I was at VidCon, and for whatever reason, I clipped on one of his videos. It was the most random thing. Probably just because I knew of his name so much. I was like, alright, let me see what this guy is all about. And then I started picking up that he was a daily vlogger. I was like, oh, this must be new, and it kind of was. I started watching in, like, when was VidCon? Like, end of July. So I started watching at the end of July, and started vlogging, like, in the beginning of March. So he was rather new to it at the time. I just love his vlogs. Like, they're seriously so so great they're so amazing they're so addicting like my day is not started until I watch a Casey Neistat vlog and let me tell you I've watched every single one of his videos like whenever I have downtime I'm watching Casey's videos and his life is just so interesting because Casey is so like he's just out there he's very blunt with everything which is really really great and also so super hard to come across on YouTube. If you want, I'm going to link his Draw My Life video down below because it's so interesting and it's like one of the only, it's the only Draw My Life video on YouTube that I've seen where someone has like actually been through a lot and they're still so young. Um, so I'm going to have the video linked down below. I'm also going to have his channel linked down below. I really, really recommend you guys watch it. So I'm really, really a huge fan of Casey's vlogs right now and just his videos in general. Um, does that mean I'll be vlogging? No, because he shows me how much dedication he has and stuff like that. And he also just motivates me a lot to like wake up early and get stuff done. Which, you know, school is great now that I'm able to get up early again and start my day early, which I really, really like. But enough about Casey, because that was like 20 minutes just about Casey. But yeah, go check him out. Okay, on to the product favorite. This is a men's product. And yeah, okay, so I saw Nikki Tutorials. Um, talking about this and she used this it's aftershave and she used it as a primer and I was like oh that's kind of weird but then she explained that it had glycerin in it and glycerin is a sticky base they use glycerin in a lot of makeup application when it comes to prosthetics like I did a zombie makeup one time and I used a glycerin like straight up glycerin because it's very tacky very sticky it sticks to whatever you put on it so or it sticks to whatever you put it on that's what I meant so since this has glycerin in it, whatever you put on top of it will stick. I like this for a lot of reasons. I like it, one, because when you open it up in the morning after you like moisturize and stuff and then you put this on, it's a boy's product so it smells like a boy, which is great. It smells like cologne. It smells very good. Like it's a really nice thing to smell in the morning. And then you put it on and it's a super silky, creamy consistency. It's very, very relaxing to put on in the morning. It does make your makeup last a lot longer and I feel like it really moisturizes my skin a ton. I don't remember how much it was. I want to say around like five or six dollars. It's a steal for the product. I don't even think I know. I didn't even say what it was. It was the Nivea Men Original Replenishing Post Shave Balm. Alright, next. Ha. Okay, 
this I like. So CoverGirl sent me a bunch of products and this is one of them. It's the, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. This is one of them. It's the Stay Luminous Outlast foundation. Um, the only thing that I don't know if it's this foundation or not or if it's, it has to be this foundation. Um, the only thing that I do notice is buy one shade lighter than you are because um, I put this on and it's great. It's super, super smooth. It smells like almond butter, um, but it matches my skin perfectly and then it oxidizes a little bit. When I say oxidizes a little bit, um, that normally means like throughout the day later on. No, it oxidizes actually very quickly. Within the first like 30 seconds I apply it to my skin and I do see it turning a different color. So it does turn a little peachy and a little dark. Um, but I think that's only because when it mixes with oxygen and skin it does that. So buy one shade lighter and then it'll oxidize to your skin tone. That's the only thing that I've noticed with this foundation, but it's a great, great drugstore foundation. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm in the shade 820, so I guess that means I buy like 810 or 815. I don't know how the numbers go, but I like this. Wow, all drugstores so far. I've been using this a lot. It's not that much of a favor to talk about, but it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. So I actually bought it back up. Not really much of a favorite, just want to say that I've been liking it. Mm. Mm, nothing really there. Favorites are hard because I have a lot of things that I like and that I enjoy, but I also have things that like, yeah, they're awesome, but they're not like my holy grail, oh my gosh, I need these, you need them too. I feel like that's what favorites videos are. Um, I was blessed, blessed enough to um, get the Vegas Nay collection palette bundle kit, whatever we're gonna call this, in the mail sent to me by Too Faced. And this is her Stardust palette. I am obsessed, okay? I said I was gonna do a fall makeup tutorial this week. Um, it's coming, I promise, but it might not be called fall makeup tutorial. I might call it something else like fall inspired, but the look that I was originally going to do for the everyday tutorial I will be doing. I'm just not going to make it my everyday fall tutorial because I'm realizing that's a little bit excessive for every day. So I kind of want to give you guys like a realistic one, you know what I mean? But the tutorial that I was going to do originally is still coming, so don't worry. These shadows are great. They're super, super pigmented. The combinations in this palette are absolutely stunning. Um, it's just a great palette overall. It has a great um, shimmery shade, a great inner corner highlight. I just want to say real quick, everyone is raving about this palette. And like I said that I didn't like it in my haul and like... I still don't. I just can't like it. I mean, I want to so bad, but I just don't like the shadows. Like, please teach me how to like it. Obviously, you guys know that I love the Velvet 59 Liquid Lipsticks. These are great. They're also vegan-free. Vegan-free. They're cruelty-free and vegan products, which is fantastic. And the colors are so nice, and they do go on super, super smooth. This one um, is a little tricky to work with. It's Velvet 59, if you're watching, make your labels a little bit bigger, okay? They're real hard to read. They, it's in the shade Pink Cadillac. And this one's a little bit tricky to go on, I'm not gonna lie. So this one's not my favorite, but these three are. I love these three. Um, especially this one. Everyone has been raving about this one. Like, every time I wore my videos, I was like, what is that? It's this. It's Kylie. I'm gonna do a blog post on liquid lipsticks, but I'm gonna get more first. No. Okay, that's all makeup. Stuff. I just went through my entire collection. That's just what I've been liking. Let's see, what else? I'm sorry, this is so messed up. I'm just like literally, I, it's just a mess of a video, to be honest. But you know, I think like we need these types of videos back on YouTube. Like, come on. Um, okay, so let's talk about my Instagram for a little bit because it's kind of messed up, honestly. It's really bad. So in the summer, I had like a really really strong theme going. I had black and white going, not like the filtered black and white, like everything in my pictures were black and white. Um, it was just really really great. It was awesome. I loved it. <laughs> I, I got home and I realized like I want to make everything just makeup. So I decided that I was going to do just the makeup Instagram. I didn't like it. So then I like didn't post for like a week on Instagram. I was like I'm at like a huge loss with my Instagram right now. Like I don't know what to do. I had a breakthrough last night, you guys. Um, I found Sincerely Jules's Instagram. I'm reinventing my Instagram right now. If you guys wanna go take a peek at it, it's in the process of being reinvented. So that's great. My Instagram is a work in progress. Another thing I've really been liking this month is getting in shape and eating 
healthy. I'm working out a lot, I've been loving working out. But I also have completely gone gluten free. And that's because I wasn't gluten free in the beginning of the month. And I noticed that even though I was working out and I was eating healthy, I was so tired all the time. And oh, I gotta go. I was so tired all the time. I wouldn't get out of bed. I was just. Oh, I was dragging the whole day. My mom was like, you know, I was gluten free over the summer. Why not try to be gluten free? And I was like, okay. And before I left for LA, I thought I had intolerance to wheat. So I was like, I'm going to try it. And the two days that I was gluten free, I did feel really good. So um, I was like, okay, I'll try it again. And for the past week or so, I've been 100% gluten free and I feel absolutely fantastic. I am not tired at all anymore. I definitely don't bloat anymore. So I've just really been substituting everything unhealthy for healthy things. Like when I make brownies, I make gluten-free brownies and I make them with coconut butter and I mean coconut oil instead of butter. Even though brownies are not healthy for you, I feel better about cooking brownies baking brownies, whatever. Yeah, I just feel a lot better being gluten-free. I've also joined a kickboxing gym, so I love kickboxing. I do a lot of working out at LA Fitness, which is fantastic. So yeah, I just really been liking working out and being healthy, eating healthy. I love detoxes, like tea detoxes. I've been using the Your Tea Detox and I feel fantastic. It's just good, I feel really good about myself, so. Alrighty, so I gotta go to the One Direction concert, but I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry that it was super scattered. Thanks guys so much, and I'll talk to you in my next video.